Hi, my name is Mary Pempeck and I am a lifestyle educator. Um, I came to the wellness journey out of need and necessity. I had a diagnosis and did not want to go down the path that the doctors were wanting me to go down. So I knew that my body could heal itself and it could really repair what was going on. And because of that, I have this absolutely incredible life today. All right, so I'm just going to tell you, pampering yourself all the way through this is so extremely important. We've talked about the pH balancing that our bodies go through, and we've talked about the cleansing, all the cleansing that you need to do. Well, taking care of your body and yourself all the way through that is so vitally important because you have to take care of you. We're going to talk a little bit about some dry brushing that may be new to some of you, and we're also going to talk about detox bathing. That is absolutely one of the most incredible things that you can do for yourselves. Targeting the lymphatic system is very important when you're going through cleansing and pH balancing. It gets things moving. It gets the junk out. So targeting that lymphatic, very, very, very important to do. And you want to remember to meditate and pray. Center yourself. You're important and you have to stay grounded through the entire thing because there's times that you can go up and down through this with emotions. So just center yourself, find your book, pray, do what you need to do to stay centered. So we know that preparing things can be very stressful. We know that preparing the detoxing or the pH balancing, you look at that and you go, how in the heck am I going to do that? I work 9 to 5 if you're lucky, right, because we always work a little bit more. And if you're a stay-at-home mom and you're juggling things, you're working 24-7. And how do you balance your family? How do you balance the life that you're living with taking on this new um, protocol that you're going to do? And so one of the things that we recommend you doing is planning. Plan, plan, plan. So think about what it is you're going to need for the week and purchase those types of things all well in advance. Take a look at your recipes. Look at your supplements. Figure out how am I going to take those? Am I going to put my supplements in my food? Am I going to drink them? Am I going to um, hammer them down really quick because sometimes people want to do that? Or they want to sip them throughout the day? So just kind of knowing how you're going to do things and manage it is really, really important. So we recommend shopping, get that, get your recipes, use that crock pot. I know you've heard about that already today, and it has many benefits for our digestion. But one of the other things that it does is it helps to alleviate the pressure in life. Because when you get home, when you're cleansing and detoxing and working on that pH, you want to have a nice, good meal that is soothing and comforting to you, that you don't have to slave over because now you need to feed your family. So use the crock pot. It's absolutely wonderful. Prepare your breakfast the night before. That's a great thing to do. So we know that we get up in the morning and we're running, 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 and we're really busy. And the stress of trying to make a shake because we're packing it full of so many things or a smoothie, whatever it is you're doing, we want to try to take the pressure of that down. So preparing, always preparing in advance is key. So go ahead, prepare your, take your, your um, container that you're maybe going to make your smoothie in, get your water filled up in it, maybe put your silver, put your magnesium in that, uh, your cell drops, whatever protocol works for you, put that in there the night before. Stick it in the refrigerator, it's done. Have the protein out next to your, your blender. If you're adding chia seeds, whatever you're doing, get that ready. Have the avocados maybe um, cut up so you're just grabbing that. You're not messing with that at that point in time. So those are just some good, helpful tips for you to do that. You prepare your waters the night before. You know, if you're going to drink clay, make up a little bit of that clay so it lasts you a couple of days. You can do that and just kind of sip on that throughout the day. You can add greens to your water after you're to your location. So think about, you know, do I need my supplements while I'm at work? Because I know that you don't want to add your greens too far in advance because the enzymes will die in them. They have a three-hour shelf life or three-hour life once you put them into water or something. So you don't want to put those into your refrigerator at night. So just kind of think about those things. How am I going to do it? What does it look like? What is easiest for me? Um, the other thing that we're going to talk about just a little bit is um, 
how do I use these supplements? Some of the different ways of using them is, you know, you can eat them, you can drink them, you can blend them. So if I'm, for example, using the green vitality, and you go, gosh, I just, I really don't want to drink that, what's another way of putting that into your life? Well, you can add that to some peanut butter, right? You would never taste it in that. You can use it in your salad dressings. If you like salad dressing, mix it with your oil, get it on top of your salad. It's endless what you can do with that. Be creative. I'm going to urge you that if you do use it in your cooking, that you're going to want to sprinkle it on top of your food after it's prepared because once we heat that up, we know the enzymes are going to die. And we don't want that happening because we want all of those really live enzymes. And we want you to ingest those. So after the food is on the table, we call it table ready, sprinkle it on, mix it in, you can drink it, um, however you choose to want to do that. So laying out those supplements the night before is also really important just so you kind of, you kind of